Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, this is the Audi A5 engine and gearbox. It's all ready to go back in the car, as you can see. Uh, the only thing we're waiting for is the turbocharger. Now this customer's gone for a hybrid turbo. Uh, he wants to be pushing sort of around 350 horsepower. And for this particular model, um, with the turbo he's got on. I think it's an IHI turbo as standard. Um, so we're gonna go for a hybrid turbo with Garrett internals. Um, and that should be good. If he changes his injectors, it should be good for sort of over 350 horsepower. But in this spec with the standard injectors, we're hoping for, a, you know, sort of around 350 horsepower. So as I said to you before, we've We've had to take this engine out and completely strip it because um, we had to put forged rod, uh, sorry, forged pistons, H-section com rods in it to withstand the power. That's a bit of a weak spot on this particular TFSI engine. Um, the competition crank bearings we put in there. You know, as I said to you before, usually we can take the head off, hopefully get the sump off and do the swap over if the bores are perfect and we could do the swap over with the engine in situ but with this particular model we couldn't do that so we've had to take the engine and box out we've had to pull the gearbox off the back and do a full strip down of the engine basically um, the bores were perfect but we've deglazed them we've gone through the cylinder head while we're at it um, the only thing we didn't take out was the crankshaft there's you know we took a main cap off but there's the bearings are absolutely light new so We've replaced the rods and the pistons, and we've obviously reassembled the engine, put the gearbox back on. We've done an oil change on the gearbox. That's all we've done there. Uh, there's a few little mods that he wants to do. We've got some silicon hoses, got a bigger intercooler. Obviously, as I say, once the turbo's back, we can get that on, get it back in the vehicle. Right, something slightly different today. As you can see on the desk here, got a few gears lying about and various little pins and springs, etc. Uh, this is so this is a gearbox that we've been sent to by a customer just to sort of have a look through. Now I'll be honest with you, we don't really specialise in gearboxes as such. We the only ones I really do sort of get involved with um, is the, the Ford ones like the, the Cosworth T5 Borg Warner box and, and things like that for the rear wheel drives. I don't really get involved with the four wheel drive and the, the front wheel drive gearboxes. You know, as I say, that's not really what we do, but this here is a, a type nine gearbox, which is in something like a Capri or Sierra. Um, this is in actually, this is in something else actually, it's in a kit car, but you know, it is a type nine gearbox. Um, and I'll be honest with you, it's the first one of these, of this exact type that I've had apart. Um, now the reason it come apart is because I think the customer's bought the, bought the car, he's having the engine done, um, but he's unsure on the gearbox. And apparently when he drained it, there wasn't a lot of oil that came out at all. So it's really just a strip down inspection, replace any parts, maybe synchro rings and, and bearings and what have you. But as I say, we've, I've got all the gears off the end and the casings outside with the other gears still in it that we're going to give a good clean then sort of strip that and have a look but I have had a look at the the selector arms so these are the selector arms that select the gears obviously um, so I've had a look at the pores on these and they all look really good and when I say really good I mean you know almost like new to be honest with you I've also had a look at the synchro rings. Now this is a synchro ring. I don't know whether you you know much about these, but these rings here are almost act like little clutches. And they, when you move the, what happens is when you, if I just put this over here, I can show you. So you see that taper on the end of that gear? So the synchro ring is tapered on the inside and that sort of runs over there, but freely. Okay, so, so that will run sort of turn freely on there until the selector pushes 
over. So when you change gear, say if you're going from second to third, it will the selector arm will push this over, which then engages this synchro ring, which is a bronze, onto the taper, which basically matches the speeds of the gears, and then it goes over and selects the selects the gear. So that's what they do. So what we're looking for on the, some of these old boxes, these tapers in there can wear to a, to a point where the, the clutch system sort of isn't really affected, isn't sort of doing its job. It's not slowing it down off the taper and then you get crunching into gears. So I've had a look at the synchros as best I can at the minute and they all look like new, to be honest with you. Um, all the gears look really good. You know, you've got to bear in mind, this is a really old gearbox. Um, so I think at this point, providing that all the other gears look okay inside the box, we will just replace the, um, maybe replace the bearings that we've got off here, but although the bearings, they feel perfect, but we may as well, while we're at it, replace the bearings and get the right sort of, um, get the right preload on all the bearings, and replace all the gaskets. I've been onto Burton Power this morning and ordered uh, a gasket set for this and, and some seals and um, put it back together really. But yeah, it looks pretty good. I'll just go outside now and show you, i just show you the, the casing with all the gears just in case you haven't seen inside one before. So this is the end of the, the gearbox here, which we're going to clean up and uh, put new seal in the end there and just make it look a bit prettier. And this shaft here obviously runs inside there. Um, but yeah, this is the actual gearbox. It is just literally a box of gears. And there's the, the gears inside, as you can see. If we have a look at we have a look at this synchro ring it looks absolutely perfect to be honest with you all of them do so i'm hoping all the rest are the same um the gears all look good with sort of even wear the wear pattern looks good on them so yeah as i say we'll probably just replace these bearings and um and away we go so the latest on the three cylinder lister engine the customer as i said he bought a second hand crankshaft in which when it arrived it had actually been freshly ground not fitted to an engine so we've checked that um, and it's absolutely perfect so what we've done is we've had to we've replaced a we've replaced the main bearings in there their shell bearings anyway we've fitted this crank back on we've got a new gear on the front here um, and yeah, we're just in the process of putting that back together. So I think this front bearing, when John had actually got it apart, this bearing in here was in a right old state. So whether that bearing was something to do with the crank breaking, because the, the crank broke, um, did it break on this back web here? I can't remember, or the front one, and it was this bearing. I can't remember now, but... Yeah, I think I've, I've got a feeling that the, it looked like it had gnarled up and uh, sort of seized up on there. So we've had a good look at the oil feeds there and obviously put new shells in and hopefully, fingers crossed, everything looks um, looks good to go. The These are the barrels with the pistons in. Um, we've obviously, I think these barrels were re-bored probably 25 15 25 hours before this the, the you know the crank broke on it so although they look a bit grubby the cylinders do actually measure perfect and it had, you know it did have new rings so i think we should just clean these up a bit more and just let them go really so yeah as you can see we've uh, checked the comrod housings they're all good got fresh bearings in there it's all ready to go hopefully right so as you can see we've took all the gears out of this so we've got the bare case in We've cleaned it all up, we've painted this case in. We've got the bearing carrier here, which we've cleaned up and painted. And obviously the rear end of the gearbox there, we've cleaned up and painted. We're just gonna replace this seal, replace the bearings. Um, everything in here, we've had to bits and we can um, 
sort of confirm that all the synchros are all right. And yeah, we'll just wait for the gasket set and the bearings to turn up and then we'll, uh, we'll assemble this and it will look like a new gearbox. But um, yeah, no, I'm happy with that. So thanks very much, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, just a little sort of update on what's happening in the workshop here today. Um, remember to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in another video. You take care. Cheers.